Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington from GMUstudent.com and today we're going to learn about the Page Properties panel in Dreamweaver. So first let's open up Dreamweaver and let's open up a new HTML document and I'm in Designer View, I'm in Split View and down here you're going to see Page Properties. So the first thing, let's insert some mock text so that we could see what our Page Properties are actually doing. So let's just type in, this is some mock text. And now in our page properties panel, let's click this. And we are going to immediately be in appearance CSS. Now as you can see, the first thing is page font. What does this do? Well obviously it changes the font for the entire page. So let's go right here. And now you can see all of these different fonts to choose from. Well why does each font have three fonts after it? Basically, Let's use Arial as an example. If an operating system has Arial and it displays your website, it will show it in Arial. If they don't, then they will display it in Helvetica if that operating system has Helvetica. If it doesn't even have Helvetica, then it will show in any sans serif font. So, the first th let's change it to Arial and let's click OK. As you can see, the text immediately changed because we changed our page properties. So let's go back to page properties, and we can also change the size. So let's change it to 16 and click OK. Oh, I guess it was already 16. So let's change it to uh, let's change it to 12 so we can see the change. OK. Now we can see it changed to a much smaller text. Let's go to page properties, change it back to 16. And now we can change also our text color. So let's change our text color to like this ugly red and click OK. So now we see that it's 16. So as, you're, as you see, if you change your page properties panel, it will change the properties for the entire page so that you don't have to keep changing like make this text, this specific thing, and this text. All of your text will be one thing. So you can also do like a background color here for this page. So we can change it to like a back background, black background color. And now if you see, if you click apply, now you can apply it without keep clicking OK. I want to just show you the difference. So now we can click apply and we're still in the page properties panel. More things that you can do is you can add a background image and a repeat. We'll go over that in another tutorial. And you can also change the margin sizes. A good, way, a good reason why a lot of people change the top margin size, at least, is because they want their web page to start right at the top. As you can see, there's nothing here, but it basically gives it a default of around 15. So if you made your website and you didn't change your margin settings, then it wouldn't it wouldn't like start right at the top of the page. It would be about 15 pixels down. So let's just change this to zero. Now a couple of other things that you can do. As you can see, we just clicked apply and the text just went up. So another, another a couple other things that you can do is you can change. Let's go to our link CSS. This will change every link that you have. It will change the way that that link looks. So you can change the link font. You can change the link size. You can even change the decoration of the link. Some people hate the way that some of their links always have those underlines under them. You can actually change that. So let's see what this actually does. Let's click cancel. Let's click enter twice. And let's type in Google and click enter. Now let's double click Google. Let's go into our HTML properties and let's go the link, make it a link to HTTP colon backslash backslash www.google dot com and click enter. As you can see, it immediately changed to our default links options. Well, if we go to page properties and go to links, we can change that now. So let's change that underline style to never underline and click apply. Boom, it's gone. Isn't that awesome? So you can change the link color, you can change all of that stuff. The last thing I'll show you is headings. You can change, in the other tutorial we saw the font as, and when we change our headings, our font sizes changed and made them bigger. So if you wanted to change your heading one font to something else, maybe a bigger font or a smaller font, you would do that here. So this is a nice brief tutorial on what you can do with your page properties and change all the properties of your page in one simple step. So thank you for watching. This is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and I hope this tutorial was useful.